The only difficulty I will have is that we are on a planet that is revolving. In order to operate this apparatus, I must clock it to the Earth's rotation, quite like a large telescope is clocked to keep it centered on the object being viewed. And now these are God's words. O oh, mortal beings, though many may express belief in the teachers I have sent, I accept them, providing that the expression of belief is not a lie, uh, not a living lie. And those who live my laws and say there is no God above, them I accept also. Though words may deny my person, the actions prove me in the heart. Oh, I love that. I'll say it again. Though words may deny my person, the actions prove me in the heart. Belief expressed in words is not verified in fact unless the living brings about the proof. Though multitudes have closed the door that keeps me from being the directing force, I condemn them not. Though laws may make my being infinite and boundless beyond comprehension, I am not there in the individual except as I am expressed in action. O oh, mortals bound in density, look to the examples I have placed around you. Bow not your head to come to me, only prepare that I may be recognized within your being. Stumble not on barriers that mortal eyes fail to see. Build the perception within that my guide, that may guide your path. That I might light the way so none shall stumble in progress of eternity. Lean not upon the cane of, tr of chance, but only cast a glance in my direction, which is within, to find the way by day or night. I make the path, I light the light, I lead you by the hand, and yet you trust me not, although you profess my being in words. The cycle has come in the circulation of my doing, and now I lead my faithful ones to victory over self for they shall recognize my image in the light of, of sight, the light of right instilled within each of my parts. And though I shake the ashes of my universe, the furnaces of my heat shall ever be the love of me expressed in thee. I love that. It was really good. Chapter 9, The Sword of Democles. I'm sorry I cannot pronounce words. I have explained that nearly everyone on this old earth has the more or less d d dormant potential to communicate by thought, like learning to play the piano or learning to become a master of any trade, sport, or other activity. The use of thought communication can only be accomplished by regular, continuous practice. The space people use instrumentation in their thought contacts with people, only to ensure positive reception and to maintain power through a projector they call an omni-beam. The omni-beam can be focused on any individual or a group of people. This, projected, this projecting of thoughts is mentioned through the Bible, voices coming from heaven, the Lord speaking unto Moses and many others, including the voice of God coming to Jesus. The space people have explained that they can only focus this being safely on people who have devoted much time to an awareness of open perception. Otherwise, the beam can be dangerous to the physical health of anyone that cannot stand its powerful vibratory transmission. One person has the power of one and can normally only contact one other individual. Here on the earth, one power of thought is sufficient in the earth's magnetic field to contact any other individual who is receptive at the time anywhere on the earth's surface. Thought projection by one person must be done by concentrating upon the individual you wish to receive your thought. Thinking his name and what he looks like must be pictured in the projector's mind several times. Then the thought you wish to transmit must be concentrated upon several times. Concentrated upon several times. This is for beginners. After one becomes adept at projection, only one thought person picture in the projector's mind will be necessary. 
The thought will not be projected to the one of whom you are thinking until you release the thought. In other words, after the concentration, you must immediately forget what you were projecting and think of anything else. As long as you hold the thought in your mind, it will not reach the one you are projecting it to. Unless the person you are projecting it projecting to is in a receptive state, it may not receive the thought. He may not receive the thought. To be receptive, you must make your mind a blank. Do not think of anything while trying to receive the thoughts of others. With continuous practice, your projective and receptive ability will become apparent to you. The power of thought can be increased by the increase in the number of people. One person has one power, two people have eight power, three people have 512 power. The power cubes its resultant to the maximum of 12 people. This is the formula Jesus gave to the people when the creative spirit spoke through him, saying, When two or more are gathered in my name, there am I also. This is the force that the supreme intelligence used to think the universe into being. Nothing can be manifested without first being thought of by someone. As I have said, three people have the projective force of 512 power. Four people increase it to 134,217,728 power. When 12 people combine their thought force in unity on any purpose, that purpose would be accomplished. This is the reason Jesus did not select his disciples from among the intellectuals of his day. He would have had too many fixed ideas to undo in their minds. Instead, he picked common people from among the multitude, only one of which could even write. He knew that it would be easier to use the power of 12 simple-minded people than to undo the dogma, custom, and religious illusions established in the minds of the learned. Most of the acts Jesus performed were done through the concentrated power of his twelve disciples, with Jesus controlling this tremendous power. These acts have been termed miracles by people who didn't understand them. They are no miracles. No, there are no miracles. Everything comes about by the natural laws of cause and effect. Thought is the casual force of all effects. Thought is of a positive polarity predominance, as it is a casual or projective force. In the physical level of, ne of negative polarity predominance, thought cannot manifest by itself. Polarity requires that two poles be active to manifest a result. A battery with only a positive pole will not produce current. Duality is required in equal and opposite forces in order to manifest action as the resultant. Mo motion can only be when unbalance exists. That which is in balance cannot move of itself. Some other force must cause the action. This is why the expression of God helps those who help themselves is a universal law. The Bible tells you that God rested on the seventh day. Nowhere does it tell you that God started creating again. It says that God completed his works. This means that God is still resting and can only be manifested through man, who was given dominion over all things. This in itself is proof of reincarnation. God made the race of man and then rested. Every one of the race of man was crea created simultaneously. No one is older or younger than another. When God rested, creation was terminated by God. Birth of babies on the earth is only the repetition of their eternal creation here or somewhere else in the universe before. Death is only the departure from negative polarity manifestation to positive polarity manifestation. Life is only manifested through the interchange of motion through the unbalanced opposites. God is no thing. If God were a thing, God would have individuality and could not be infinite. For individuality is only a part of everything. God is referred to as He, the Father, etc. by the Church. 
This nullifies God's infinity and gives male gender to God. This excludes everything feminine and of negative polarity. The church would have God in the image of man rather than man in the image of God. To use God power, you must bring it out of stillness and manifest it through expression or motion to produce a given result. In giving man dominion over all things except his fellow men, God expected you to use the infinite intelligence of universal being to manifest results. Why did Jesus say he came to bring the word? He could have easily communicated with anyone he wanted to by thought, but he said he came to bring the word. The reason was that he knew the power of God, rest, could only be manifested in a predominantly negative polarity level of life by an equal interchange of thought, positive polarity and expression, negative polarity. It is not my intention to prove this formula to you, but rather to let you reason and experience, your reason and experience, prove it to yourself. Look back through your experiences and recall if the following has happened to you before. Apply it now and make it work now. God's power has no limits except those that man creates. Think regularly every night. I'm going to begin this because this is kind of a little um, formula for thinking and your thinking producing what you want. So I'm going to let it be in the next session. Goodbye for now.